Hello lovely stitchy friends. I'm Kat and welcome to my channel Catkin and Lily where we talk all things cross stitch. Since it's the 1st of May I thought I would pop in real quick just to talk about my plans for stitch mania. Now I know I mentioned if you saw my last proper floss tube video I said I wasn't really going to do stitch mania but to be honest I realised I'm basically doing it by default just because of how much I want to do in May anyway. So I thought, well, let's go all out, call it Stitch Mania, and do some planning around that. And I thought I would come and share my plans with you. Now, I have to say, I don't really know where Stitch Mania, where it came from, how it started, but it's basically an excuse, as if we needed one, to go really crazy with your cross stitch in the month of May, hence Mania, and, Going crazy can just look like whatever you want it to look like. So for me, it's going to be new starts. So I am going to have five new starts in May. And that will be a new start every Friday. So I thought I would, I'll run you down the five new starts that I've got planned. I have talked about almost all of them, I think, but just to run you down how that's gonna go. So I will, I'll pop little pictures up as well for you so you can see what I'm planning. So the first one is Gaia the Earth Goddess which yes, I've been talking about and talking about, and I'm so excited to finally get to start that. And that will be the first of my new starts. And yeah, absolutely can't wait for that one. The second new start will be another Bella Filipina design, and that's going to be Julia the Firefly Princess. Again, I'm super excited to start that. Wouldn't normally go for starting two fancy ladies so close together, but mania, we're gonna go for it. The next two are a couple of stitch alongs that I've signed up to. So the first is the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery Arctic Animals Stitch Along. So for these, obviously, there's not too much I can show you picture-wise, but safe to say they're going to be super cute. So I'm very excited for that. And the fourth project and second Stitch Along will be the Deadly Aquarium Sal by Lola Crow, which has already started and has been going. You might have seen this one um, going around. It started with the frame being released. So I'm a little behind on this one, but that's fine. And my fifth new start is going to be the Cotton and Twine April subscription box. So this is the subscription box that the Historical Sampler Company do under their Cotton and Twine brand. And it's a really lovely design. I really can't wait to start that. So I thought, let's put that in. Again, it's quite different from the other um, ones I'm starting. So I think that'll make a nice one to round out the five. So as well as those five new starts, I've obviously got my WIPGO calls. And as I always say, if you're not familiar with WIPGO, um, I, it's not, not something I really need to go into in this video, but there is a video link below. I always have one there that you can go and find out about it if you want to. But I've got my two goals for May, which are definitely going to add a little bit of extra chaos because the first one is for me to do five days on birds at the water pump, which is an older whip that I have not pulled out for quite a while. It's been on timeout. So I'm going to do five days on that. So that's another thing to add into the rotation. And my second goal for whip go is to do five days on Halloween. So again, I don't have a Halloween thing going on at the moment. So yeah, I need to add that into the mix as well. And I have actually um, already made a little bit of a start on this one. So the pattern that I chose to start for my Halloween stitching was one of the minis from the 2021 Halloween Club from Shannon Christine Designs. As you know, I'm a big fan of Shannon Christine Designs and there's a whole series of these little minis and I've had my eye on them for a while. And because it's so small, I thought this would be a really good one to do basically so it's not like another enormous project to throw into the mix and it's got some beautiful colours here's all the, the threads like that really lovely definitely going to have fun stitching with those and here is my very small start it is almost not worth me showing you tiny bit of wording so yeah as I say it's barely worth seeing but I wanted to make a start on it because that actually ticks off my April whip go goal of a new start. And now it's ready to go. So I, I can um, work on that for the uh, five days in May and tick the whip go goal off for that one. So that's all those new starts. 
I've got my whip go goals, add that to all my existing whips as well. And I feel like chaos is fairly likely. So I did do a bit of planning to work out what I could stitch when, just to make sure that I don't accidentally miss something. So, and I've actually even, I've written it down, I have a little um, calendar that I've planned so that I know what I'm gonna stitch when, which I don't normally do. But in this instance, I felt like I really needed something to, to keep me on track and as I say, make sure I don't miss any of those goals. So it's basically gonna pan out. And so I've got the new starts. So every Friday will be a new start and that will then get stitched. That new start will get stitched Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So that's gonna get a few days. There are a couple of weekend days when I'm away. So obviously maybe not so much on those days, but that's the plan for the new starts. They're gonna get three good days of stitching because Friday's a non-work day for me. So three good days of stitching for each of the new starts. And I know that the first new start of those will be Gaia because I'm starting that for my birthday. Although, shh, I'm actually starting it on Thursday. I know I said Friday, but my birthday's Thursday, so I'm I'm going a day early for just for Gaia. And then obviously I'll be stitching that one through the weekend. I have not actually set which Fridays will be the other new starts, simply because I'm waiting for some fabric and I don't know when that's gonna rock up, so I don't know quite what order I'm going to want to do those in, but they'll be in there on those Fridays. I just haven't set the order yet. So that leaves me the weekdays, the other weekdays from Monday to Thursday to figure out. And I have two work days in there, which is Monday and Thursday, and I don't get so much stitching time on those. So I'm going to carry on with my spring design and the coffee gnome design. I'm not gonna show all of these in here now. They're all in my regular floss tubes if you're excited to go and take a little look at those. So those will be carrying on on my work days. And then on the other non-work days, so what we've got left, we've got Tuesday and Wednesday. Tuesday's going to be for stitching my dragon. So it will only get one day instead of the usual two that I've been trying to give it, but it will, it will be the only project I stitch on that Tuesday. So hopefully I can still get some decent stitches on that one. And Wednesday is going to be whip go Wednesday. Again, because it's a non-work day, I can probably stitch two projects on that day and still get a good amount of stitching on both of them. So whip go Wednesday, so that will be when I do the five days for Birds at the Water Pump and the Halloween. So I'll put those two both together um, on Wednesday and yeah, fingers crossed. I, th I think that kind of covers everything. Oh no, actually the one thing, other thing that I was going to try and squeeze in is my Wonders of the James Webb Space Telescope stitch along, which I'm going to treat more as a thread a day kind of project because I can only do tiny, tiny amounts um, on that at any one time. So I think on, again, this will be on non, non work days, I'll try and get in one or two threads, just a few stitches on that one, just to keep it ticking along. And if I'm really feeling up to it, I might join in with Peachy Stitcher, who has started stitching something Christmassy on the 25th of each month, which I thought sounded really fun. I didn't do that in April, so I might throw that in for May because why not? Why not? The crazier the better, I think, for May. It is called Stitch Mania. So that's the plan. Let me know if you're going to be joining in with Stitch Mania and what that's going to look like for you. I'd love to know what you're getting up to. And of course, if you want to see how I get on with all of this absolute craziness, then make sure to subscribe. It's the best way to make sure that you keep up with all my videos. And I've also got, very excitingly, I'm gonna try and do some kind of mini stitch with me when I start Gaia, maybe, so that I can video myself starting that and share that with you as well. Thank you for watching. I will be back again really soon. Until then, happy stitching. Bye for now.